We welcome you to the General Relief Society meeting of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We are gathered together on this beautiful evening in the Conference Center in Salt Lake City. What a glorious sight you are. We know that there are similar gatherings of Relief Society sisters throughout the world, and we hope you can feel our love for you no matter where you are viewing this broadcast. President Thomas S. Monson, who presides at this meeting, has asked that I conduct. My name is Sister Linda K. Burton, Relief Society General President. We are delighted to have President Monson and his counselors, President Henry B. Eyring and President Dieter F. Uchtdorf, with us tonight. It is a great blessing to serve under their direction. We warmly welcome Elders Jeffrey R. Holland and D. Todd Christofferson of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles and Bishop Gary E. Stevenson, Presiding Bishop of the Church. We love and sustain these brethren. Also seated on the stand are my devoted and wonderful counselors, Sister Carol M. Stevens and Sister Linda S. Reeves. We are grateful for the opportunity we have to serve together. We recognize and appreciate our beloved sisters in the Young Women and Primary General Presidencies and board members who are in attendance. We welcome each of you, both here in the audience and those who are jo joining us through the television, satellite, the internet, and other forms of technology. With President Monson's historic announcement regarding the change in missionary age since we last met, it seems fitting that the music tonight be provided by a choir of sister missionaries from the Missionary Training Center in Provo, Utah, along with women from the Provo, Utah area, reflecting the need for all of us to participate together in the work of salvation. They will be under the direction of Emily Wadley and Bonnie Goodliffe at the organ. The choir and congregation will open this meeting by singing Redeemer of Israel. The invocation will then be offered by Sister Lorraine Swenson, who serves as a member of the Relief Society General Board. Thank you, sisters, for that heartfelt hymn. It will now be my privilege to speak to you. At the conclusion of my remarks, the choir will favor us with a medley of two hymns, Go Forth with Faith and As Sisters in Zion. 
Sister Carol M. Stevens, First Counselor in the Relief Society General Presidency, will then address us. She will be followed by Sister Linda S. Reeves, Second Counselor in the Relief Society General Presidency. The choir and congregation will then stand and sing together, I'll go where you want me to go.
oh, sisters, may we go where the Lord wants us to go, say what He wants us to say, and be what He wants us to be. We express deep gratitude to the choir and all others for their participation and gratefully acknowledge those who have assisted in preparing for this sacred meeting in any way. We likewise express our sincere appreciation to each of you for sharing this evening with us. It will now be our privilege to hear from our beloved prophet, President Thomas S. Monson. At the conclusion of his remarks, the choir will close the meeting by singing, More Holiness Give Me. The benediction will then be offered by Sister Anna D'Agostini, who serves as a member of the Relief Society General Board. President Monson. 